Come on over oh, here. All oh, the stashes wow. are gone. The bench is gone. The I computer thought it was the is gone. Passion the the app is gone. You can say uh, boys. That's toxic. I wouldn't be surprised if these 30 cocksuckers left me with some dog shit GPUs as well. I really wouldn't be. Yeah, they stole everything. One. There's another shitty one. I can't believe OTT has to go through a is it scuff moment twice. Can you imagine two times in one year having to go through a is it scuff moment? God damn. That's a that's a that's an unfortunate uh, situation there. Oh, kind. These guys are absolute scum of the earth. Straight up, straight up agreed. Yeah. You know what, LTP? So I'm on your side. I'm on Look your fucking it. side, bro. Look at it, bro. Yeah. You guys see it, man. No, nah, I'm on your side. You guys yeah. see it. What the f did I do to deserve this? Nothing. Not a conversation. Nothing. Man. Not a meeting. Nothing. Again, while I'm asleep. The same I cried about JP leaving, and I and I stepped up and I got all this shit done. They mm -hmm. literally did the same thing to me, but worse, mm -hmm. worse, worse. They worse. I don't even got a computer in here, guys. He. They didn't leave him with the computer. Are you serious? They didn't even leave him with the computer. No, wait, there's one right there. Is this not a computer? What's this? Disgraceful. I thought After that's a computer right I've there. Done, all the hard Cosmetic? Work. No. No say. No nothing. Just they left him with the cos- the They left him with the cosmetic computer? No. Are you serious? Mistakes everybody else makes. Focus on OTT. I don't understand what OTT did to deserve this, though. What did OTT do to deserve this? Like, what did he do? They were gonna, to be fair, they were gonna talk to him today. Yeah, we just took all your shit. Now we're gonna talk to you afterwards. Fuck that. That's so fucked. Nah, that's that's fucked up. To be fair, they were gonna talk to him today. Yeah, I'm just gonna rob you and then talk to you about it a little later. Probably with a bunch of guns pointed at you in a location where only you get to you you have to show up and be uh you know surrounded. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You don't do that shit. He'll be the scapegoat. Burgers thought they would have, they should have left him I want, a computer. I just want you guys to see this. With the I want JP's you guys to note? remember this. And I want you guys to understand who these- I thought Bengi was the one who was leaving. Like, why, why did they fuck over OTT? I don't understand. Why, why, uh... If Bengi was the one who was leaving, why did they fuck over OTT? Lore Masters. People are. No way, this is over that. Wait, is this over the misogyny shit? Ooh. Ooh, they retcon that. It doesn't matter about meta. I haven't role played in like two fucking weeks, chat. Uh, and and I'll just reverse meta it in my brain. I thought they retcon that because uh, he said that he found he found that kind of role play uncomfortable for him, which uh, I agree with that. If there is a if there is a type of role play that makes you feel uncomfortable, OCC uncomfortable, you should you should OCC talk to that person, and say the that kind of uh. That kind of language makes me feel uncomfortable and it makes me feel uh, attacked. OCC, OCC, OOC, OCC. <laughs> Out character, character. OOC, OOC, sorry, 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 sorry. OOC, you know, like it, that, should, that should be something that, uh, that like if, if it makes you feel, just like a torture role play can make people feel uncomfortable and um and uh sometimes like if you call somebody sexist or if you say somebody is a whore things like that those kind of words can be uncomfortable for some people so you should oc oc 
talk to those people about it and say, that kind of role play doesn't really uh, fit with me, and is, is it okay if we don't do that going forward, and we can retcon what happened in the events of the past. If he is getting fucked over from that for talking about his, uh, for talking about his boundaries, then I think that that's inappropriate. Because I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying, oh, well, girls have to get called sluts all the time. Okay, but if the girl talks to the person who's doing it, OOC, and says that that kind of role play makes me uncomfortable and sets a boundary, and then it still happens, then, then that's inappropriate. But if there's no boundary set, then it's just free game role play. Just like it was okay that it happened. It's nobody's fault that she did say this is misogyny. Uh, it's, it's a boundary that he doesn't want. Then, then it's okay that it got retconned out, in my opinion. If, if people are allowed to set their own boundaries, and if you don't set a boundary, you can't get upset about the fact that there was no boundary set. Um, you know, it wasn't that. Hold on. Because if it is something, like, torture roleplay can be something that makes people very uncomfortable. Um, and, and that could be something that can make somebody want to OOC communicate with another person and retcon the events. Uh, everyone's allowed to have their own boundaries, and it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. Setting those boundaries is an appropriate thing and a fair thing um, to do, and it's inappropriate to hate on somebody because other people do are, are misogynist or other people say slut or anything like that. If you don't set that boundary, then you can't be upset when somebody does set a boundary, and it's inappropriate to hate on somebody for setting a boundary. Um, uh, this is the this is the context. I have no qualms on speaking with her, apologizing that it got to where it got. But I at will, the same time, I will tell you this: I know you. In the sense that, her levying that against you is a petty and immature response that she does against me. If anyone hates women, it's me. But I... End the clip there. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> I'm fucking around. I'm sorry, Mickey. <laughs> we'll tell you this. I'm just messing. While I know you to be <laughs> decent and honest with that regard, that this is your response <laughs> to pull a gun and shoot someone over something like this? No, that that over is a, a label. That's no, that's a that's a huge label to put on somebody. I'm I, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm pro OTT right here. I think that if this is something that makes him feel very uncomfortable and can give him a lot of OOC hate and a lot of OOC uh, like injustness, I think that setting a boundary and saying this is something that makes me very uncomfortable and I don't like this OOC is a very, very fair. Yeah, people have shot for way less than that. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm in solidarity with, uh, with OTT and people should be a little bit more um, empathetic over his perfect, uh, over, or, over his perfect, over his communication, over his boundaries, uh, personally. Like, I think that that is fair and just. And I, I think that people need to be a little bit more considerate and empathetic to his perspective. Considered hate? Yes. Yes. If it was something that wasn't as serious, absolutely not. And I've shown that since she is a, for months now. She is a child. She's an immature, petty child. She's not a Use child. Use words. Please. There's no need to just shoot. Can, this is what Brett is and a child. I Nobody is a child in, uh, in roleplay. Nobody is a child. We're all adults in roleplay. It is against the rules to be a child in roleplay, <laughs> literally. Um, there are no children in the city. So... Everyone is an adult, and whatever actions come out of what happens is only fair, especially if it makes somebody OOC uncomfortable. It is fair. If, if somebody said, I'm, and I'm just going to use an extreme, uh, you're a whore to me 
in role play and that made me feel OOC uncomfortable. I have every right to end the interaction and, and continue OOC and com converse with the person to say, this does not make me feel okay. And I would prefer if you did not do that. Um, so I think that it is only fair that he, he, he set his boundaries. It, you know, I'm gonna say something and I might, I might get hate, but whatever, I don't care. Guys, when they set their boundaries, don't get the same level of consideration as when girls set boundaries. And I find that that is inappropriate completely. I think when guys set boundaries, it tends to get negated and overlooked. And I think that that's an unhealthy environment to have for any person because it sets, it tells men, one, that their boundaries don't matter, but two, that boundaries in general don't matter. So if, if it's okay for them, but not for you, then you're gonna think, okay, well then boundaries are irrelevant. Um, and I think that that is stupid. I think everybody's boundaries are incredibly important. And if this makes him feel uncomfortable, then I think that this is a fair, very fair way of handling it. And I think that he was in his right in all of it. I say all the time, why do we always just pull out our guns and shoot? Mickey, can you please do not patronize me and tell me uh -huh. how I should feel? True. Because she's young. Exactly. This is now the 100%. third time I've heard this. Yep. No, 100%. Good. So can you please not use that as an argument? Yes. Oh, and she if I use age, it as an argument, and an if adult. I press you too much of this on an argument, do I get shot as well? Where does it end? No. At what point is it too far? When do you draw the line of escalating from words to violence? That is the issue. It has nothing to do with January in this instance. It has been a core issue of the company. And not just you, many people. And it is that I- Sorry guys, I do not feel comfortable um, going down this road. No, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna bow out, but thank you very much guys. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I know no, me as a person 100%. and I don't want to get worked up. No, this is fair. Thank you. That me and Breckers do not agree with, that we have tried to stress. And scene. Uh, I think Mickey was playing it out in character. And I think that that's fair because there's only so much you can do in, 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 in your, what your character is going to do. And I think that that's perfectly acceptable. Um, I think that that's incredibly fair. I think that the, the problem in this situation is there is a discrepancy in the role play and in the OOC feelings of a real individual who has to play this character. And I think Mickey played it out perfectly fine here and I don't see anything wrong with the fact that Mickey was taking the side that he took. Um, but I do wanna say that if somebody is OOC uncomfortable, like I said many times before, it doesn't matter what their gender is, what their sexuality is, what their race is. If they're uncomfortable with that kind of role play, you should not press it onto that person because it is not fair for somebody to have to be presented into a situation that makes them feel uncomfortable when they're supposed to be a willing participant in a scene. And that is uh, that is that everyone should be consenting, uh, whether it's through sex or role play, everyone should consent. And I'm. Um, I'm gonna just say I'm completely in support and solidarity to OTT and what he's going through because I think that that is unfair that he should one take the blame for other people's misogyny if there is misogyny within the server I haven't experienced it personally but I'm also very lucky um, so if there are other people's misogyny him setting a boundary does not negate it shouldn't it should not mean that just because other people have been misogynistic that he should just not have a boundary uh, able to be set that is ridiculous so i am just a hundred percent with you uh ott and i i stand in solidarity with you that is uh i'm 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 i'm, I'm with you i'm with you because that boundaries deserve to be set regardless of who you are regardless of if you're a man or a woman regardless of your skin color regardless of your hair color your sexuality whatever you are if you have a boundary, it's appropriate to be able to set it. You are a willing participant and good for you for, for FA quitting, good for you for handling it OOC, and good for you for stopping the interaction the second it made you uncomfortable. I, I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you, man, I'm with you.
Permission to initiate contact? Uh, I don't. I didn't know his uh, Twitch. His Twitch name, Maximus. I, I just call him OTT because I've known him as OTT. I'm sure he'd call me Ginger because he knows me as Ginger. It's kind of hard when you have multiple names uh, for people. Like I have people who know me in character as Ginger, as my Twitch name and my real life IRL name. So um, you know that it's it's like it's hard. But yeah, huge, huge, huge solidarity here for that. That that's really unfair. And then I want you to think long and hard about who actually had your backs, who actually brought you in on this operation, who bigged you up, who helped put you guys into certain positions, and who was there on a daily basis to help out for you guys. And I want you to remember what these said about people within the company and how they don't give a f about certain people and they pick it and choose Well, they pick and chose. I just want you to remember that shit. I want you to remember every single time something bad happened, it was the not BSK house. I want you to remember this. This is sinister. Sly, I have been through an obscene amount so wait, of betrayal. I'm I'm uh I'm out of the loop. This is his house, his own BSK house. This isn't the company house. It's a it's a separate house. Like there was a separate house for the interns, even though uh near Nearly nobody was an intern at that point. Is this a third house? This is the company house. Okay, because it's, it's got remodeled since last time I looked at it. I see, I see. He owns it. Frail, an obscene amount of disrespect over the years. This I think them going in and, and house heisting is really, really crazy. I can't believe that. That's, a, that's, really, that's really crazy. My friend takes the absolute cake. It's not even close. Just so you know, they did say that they want to have a big okay. meeting tomorrow, which uh, is today. Yeah, but like, you can say you're gonna have a big meeting after you fuck somebody over. It doesn't change anything. Like, you've already fucked them over. You should have the big meeting first, but you've already taken everything. It doesn't change, like, you fuck, and, and, uh... Oh, they, they did oh, not how say nice. stuff on the, yeah. Oh, how no, nice. I'm, oh, and by the oh, way, yesterday can't. before any of this stuff happened, there was a ton of stuff already missing from the house. Crazy. Somebody or someone said had already been clearing shit out of the house. It's yeah. almost as if they were afraid I was going to them. Yep. Even though I could have at any time, by the way. I am of the course. owner of the house. Yeah. Could have literally just changed the locks. Yeah. Removed people from the panel and walked away. That's crazy. Right. But I don't do that shit. Yeah, right. exactly. They had the, the it, honestly, I think when people do this, it just shows their own uh it shows their own viability. Is this because of January? Uh, I don't know. The, this person said no. What is this because of then? Because uh, I don't. I don't know why. Why this is happening to OTT specifically? Uh, it just seems like uh, the timing is weird. Because I know Bengi wanted to leave the company. OTT still didn't get paid out properly. He just accepted it because he's tired of it. He did do that, told the members when they sorted everything out. They've been fighting. So it was because of January. Okay, well then don't say no. Uh, if it, it, I mean, it, it, if it is, it is. We're going at it a lot. Long time coming. But it is the catalyst, essentially. So your car could be like uh, having issues for a long time, but suddenly, if you have a battery issue or an or your uh, engine issue, you know that would be the reason, the final straw of your car breaking down. I guess not the battery, but you know, your engine block might explode. But you could still have transmission issues. You could still have battery issues, you could still have electrical issues. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, interesting. You know what that is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is yesterday. Not a uh, note, nothing, bro. Couldn't even leave the old desk with a note here to say, hey, P.S., we do. Oh, we'll, we'll hold a meeting. We'll hold a meeting sometime tomorrow if you don't mind staying awake 
uh, god hours of the night so that we can waste our time while I sit in a circle and have everybody fit on me. Yeah, they... Yeah. It's absolute disgrace. It's despicable. Months and months of my time. It's almost as if I was the only board member that actually gave a felt the company. All they do, guys, is care about themselves and the people that they want to hang out with. That is it. And they've proven it month after month after month after month. I don't even actually need to rant about it. If you think about it and you look at it objectively, they were all lazy cunts that did nothing for this company while I sat here and I slaved and tried to keep all this shit together and appease their bullshit. That's what I did. And everybody knows it. Ray is lazy. Well, Chai, you guys are going to say JP did it better no matter what because you guys have an affinity for JP's storyline because you guys were JP fans, like, uh, for a lot of you guys. I'm, I'm sure that the people who are watching, you know, um, Bangi or watching, or watching Mickey or watching Ray are going to be like, oh, no, theirs is much better, you know? So it, it, it's, it's, just, it's just bias. Um, it, it, it's okay. I, I think that everyone's going to have bias for the people that they enjoy, and that's uh, understandable. Even their chats were saying it? Really? <laughs> but no, it could, be, it could be meme. All I know is Gag did it worst. <laughs> when Gag and... When Gag is the... Oh my god, I forgot about the Gag situation. Wait a second. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is this is so common in roleplay, I can't even believe it. Ginger's gotta be like the most trustworthy person in roleplay. I could have uh, I could have taken everything I, I really wanted to. Multiple times in multiple situations, I had keys to houses where I could have taken everything when things were ending, and I literally didn't, and I was really, really nice. I can't believe how fucking trustworthy Ginger is. She's on a different level. But that's also why Ginger maintains friendships even after shit goes down. Like, Ginger's a, you know, I'm just gonna toot my own horn. Ginger's a great ass character. Just subscribe. <laughs>